and go to the tax rate. And when uh, Ed was sitting here, he didn't have the complete breakdown. I did run upstairs and grab that also. So the tax rate was uh, 1608 for the municipal portion, that, but that is broken down um, into the municipal, the county, the local education, and the state education. So I think when I had sat before you, before the tax rate was set, I had said 642. It ended up coming up at 641 for the town portion. The county is 98 cents. The local education is $6.53, and the state education is $2.16. And then the uh, precinct, like he had told you, Rick, is the $0.74, cents, just like Ed had said. So that has to be added for the precinct. So I think it was $16.82, I think is what he said. So that is the total tax breakdown. Um, when I was here last week, we were talking about the uh, single the average value of a single family home. And I just wanted to correct myself in that. When I had used the $377,800, that is for uh, the single family without waterfront. Uh, last year when we did the same comparison for you, it the rate that we used I think was 330,000, but that included everybody with the waterfront also. So I just wanted to point out that that, uh, the single family, the average single family home without waterfront is $377,800. The single family with waterfront is $404,200. And then Ed took it one step further this year uh, to include the single family without land. The average is $394,900. So I just wanted to clear that up because there was some confusion. Ed received a few phone calls last week after that. So. Um, I wanted to clear that up also. So when you say that, you mean it's a, uh, a piece of a larger than a, than a uh, 50 by 100 foot lot? Yes. I believe that is the case, yes. So, um, and I think that is all that I have for you guys. Okay.